right guys, so welcome back. As you can see, I've already outlined Charizard with my black marker just like we normally would. If you need time to do that, then go ahead and pause the video now. So one of the things I thought might be neat to try on this is instead of using matte pencils, I got us watercolors to use. So if you have watercolors at your house, now would be a great time to pause the video and get yourself set up to do watercolors. So we're going to begin by doing the body of our Charizard, which he is orange. So I've got some orange um, watercolors here and I'm going to get my color wet. I'm going to go in and start watercolor painting. So I've been wanting to do some watercolor painting for a while. The problem that might happen with doing this is that my black marker is probably going to bleed into my watercolor, but that's perfectly fine. No big deal. We'll just keep going. Oh no, I got, I got water on my Charizard already. So you need to be careful about where you put your water cup because you don't want it to drip like mine just did. I'm gonna move my cup so that doesn't happen again. Okay, so I've got the outline of the wings and now I'm just gonna go in and do the hands and the body and the tail. Now, if you don't want to use watercolors and you'd rather stick to using um, matte pencils, that is perfectly fine. I just thought it might be neat to do something kind of different. So I'm gonna try it. Look at my eye, oh goodness. The water really messed it up. I think I'm gonna wait to color that um, part until the very end when hopefully it's dried. We shall see. Okay, I need a little bit more water. Oh no, I just dropped my paintbrush. All right, now we're good to go, good. And then the top of the tail here, leg. All right, and then I think I'm gonna try to blot. Okay, that might have been good. I might have just saved it. Well, oh, there's a bug in my page. All right. I didn't know that whenever I picked to do Charizard that it would take quite this long to do, but that's okay. Some things are, some things take longer and they turn out great. Okay, so I have the body. It's not perfect because I'm using, you know, watercolors and so if I wanted to go back over it and make it perfect, I can, but overall I'm pretty satisfied with this. Now, the stomach and the bottom of the tail is a yellowish color, so I have one here and that's what we're going to use. I think the one in the picture is more pale than this. This looks pretty bright, but that, that's perfectly fine. Okay, and then it looks like 
The wings are turquoise, which is my favorite color, as you know. So we're going to get some turquoise color on that wing. All right, now I have to be very careful around the hands. I did it, great. This is such a pretty color. Oh, kind of got on a line. All right. Now for the fire. So I'm going to use red and yellow. I'm going to do a bright yellow first. Then I'm going to let that dry while I see if I can fix this eye. I think my paper is pretty dry, so I'm going to re-outline that eye. There we go. I'm actually going to use a green matte pencil because I don't know that I can get a, gr a green in that small space for his eye. Um, and then I'm going to add the little bit of red to the edge of the flame. All right, and then I think we have our Charizard. Now, if you want to, you can take some darker color and add it here to the neck to give it some dimension. Um, you can add it to the bottom of the feet here. underneath the belly and the tail and this just kind of gives it a little bit of a 3d type effect kind of blend it in with the orange Right, and there is our Charizard, and we did it with watercolors, which is something new. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. I hope that your Charizard came out great, as I know it's going to, and as great as you wanted it to. Um, there's tons of opportunity when you get finished with the watercolors to add to it. You can even add a really awesome background we call the area around a drawing negative color negative space excuse me and so sometimes it's kind of neat to take a color that's not being used and fill in that negative space so I think I'll take some time and do that to mine just to kind of see if it makes my drawing pop a little bit more that's what it's supposed to do. Okay guys, so this is what I came up with when I added the purple to the negative space. This drawing was quite a challenge for me and I cannot wait to see what yours looks like. Please send me pictures if you decide to draw this and I can't wait to check them out. Bye guys.